you only get one chance to make a first impression. This is true for meeting new people, and it's absolutely true for your writing. When you meet someone for the first time, the initial moments are crucial. The same principle applies to your writing. The first few sentences can determine whether your reader will continue or move on to something else. A strong introduction is like a welcoming smile, inviting readers into your world. It sets the tone and gives a glimpse of what's to come. Just as a warm smile can make someone feel at ease, a well-crafted introduction can make your readers feel comfortable and eager to read more. Think about your favourite books or articles. What drew you in? Was it a compelling story, an intriguing fact, or a thought-provoking question? The opening lines are designed to hook you, to make you want to know more. What made you keep reading? It's often the promise of something valuable, entertaining or enlightening. The introduction sets the stage for the rest of the content, giving you a reason to invest your time and attention. Chances are, the opening lines grabbed your attention and made you curious to learn more. They sparked your interest and made you want to dive deeper into the story or the information being presented. A weak introduction, on the other hand, can make your readers lose interest before they even give your ideas a chance. It's like a limp handshake or a forced smile. It doesn't inspire confidence or curiosity. So, how do we make sure our introductions are captivating? It starts with understanding your audience and what they're looking for. Are they seeking information, entertainment or inspiration? Tailor your introduction to meet their needs and pique their interest. Let's dive in and find out. We'll explore techniques for crafting engaging introductions, from using vivid imagery and compelling anecdotes, to posing intriguing questions and presenting surprising facts. By the end of this journey, you'll have the tools to make every first impression count, whether you're meeting someone new or writing your next great piece. There are many ways to start your writing with a bang. The beginning of your story is crucial because it sets the tone and grabs the reader's attention right from the start. You can use a surprising fact, a thought-provoking question or a bold statement to immediately engage your audience. For instance, did you know that the average person spends over five years of their life on social media? Or perhaps you could start with a personal anecdote that relates to your main theme. Sharing a personal story can create an emotional connection with your readers, making them more invested in what you have to say. The most important thing is to choose an opening that's relevant to your topic and will resonate with your audience. Think about what will make them sit up and take notice. Is it a shocking revelation, a humorous incident? or a poignant memory. Remember, your goal is to hook your readers from the very first sentence and make them eager to see where you take them next. A strong opening can be the difference between a reader continuing with your story or moving on to something else. What type of opening do you think would be most effective for a story about a shocking celebrity statement? Would you start with the statement itself or perhaps the reaction it caused? Maybe you could begin with a behind-the-scenes look at how the statement was made. The possibilities are endless, but the key is to choose an opening that will captivate your audience and make them want to read more. Experiment with different types of openings to see what works best for your story. Don't be afraid to take risks and try something new. After all, the beginning of your story is your chance to make a lasting impression. So go ahead, start with a bang and keep your readers hooked from the very first word. Just like a good introduction is important for your entire piece, each section needs a mini introduction too. These keep the momentum going and help readers follow your train of thought. Think of each section intro as a bridge connecting one idea to the next. 
they should briefly summarize the previous point and introduce the new information you're about to present. This way, your writing flows smoothly and your readers stay engaged. Asking questions throughout your writing is a fantastic way to keep your readers actively engaged. When you pose a question, you invite your audience to pause, reflect and form their own opinions. But don't just ask any question. Make sure your questions are relevant to the topic at hand and genuinely thought-provoking. The goal is to spark curiosity and encourage your readers to keep searching for answers within your writing. Section 5. Answering with grace, smooth transitions and satisfied readers. After you ask a question, it's important to provide an answer or at least point your readers in the right direction. This is a crucial aspect of maintaining a smooth flow in your narrative. When you pose a question, it naturally piques the curiosity of your audience. They start to think, to wonder, and to engage more deeply with your content. This shows that you value their engagement and aren't just leaving them hanging. By addressing their queries, you demonstrate that you respect their time and interest. This not only builds trust, but also encourages them to stay with you for the long haul. Imagine attending a seminar where the speaker poses thought-provoking questions, but never provides any answers. Frustrating, right? Think of it like a conversation. You ask a question, your reader thinks about it, and then you offer your perspective or insights. This exchange of ideas is what makes the interaction meaningful. It's not just about throwing information at your audience, it's about creating a dialogue. When you provide thoughtful answers, you're not just informing, you're engaging in a meaningful exchange. This back and forth keeps the dialogue flowing and creates a more satisfying reading experience. It's like being part of a lively discussion where everyone's voice matters. Your readers feel heard and appreciated, which makes them more likely to return to your content. So, always remember, smooth transitions and thoughtful answers are key to keeping your readers satisfied and engaged. Section 6. Call to Action. Turning readers into engaged participants. A call to action is a powerful tool that encourages your readers to take the next step. This could be anything from leaving a comment, sharing your article, or even just thinking more deeply about a particular issue. By ending your writing with a clear call to action, you're inviting your readers to become active participants in the conversation rather than passive observers. Section 7. Surveys. Say, get feedback and fuel the conversation. Surveys are a fun and interactive way to engage your audience and gather valuable feedback. They can be used to gauge opinions, spark debate, or simply learn more about your readers. Don't be afraid to get creative with your surveys. The more engaging and relevant they are, the more likely people will be to participate. Section 8. Wrapping it up, the final bow. Just like a great introduction is essential, so is a strong conclusion. Your conclusion should summarize your main points and leave your readers with something to think about. Think of it as the final bow after a captivating performance. You want to leave a lasting impression and ensure your message resonates long after your readers have finished reading. Section 9. Your turn. Ready to write amazing introductions. Now that you know the secrets to crafting killer introductions, it's time to put your newfound knowledge into practice. Remember to keep your audience in mind, be creative, and most importantly, have fun. The more you write, the better you'll become at capturing your reader's attention from the very first sentence. Go out there and write something amazing.